Hey everybody, need some help? Well, if you're like me, and you're one of the lucky ones, you might have a PSVR 2 and a compatible Virtual Link graphics card. And if you do, you might be like, hey, hey, I don't have to buy a PC adapter. Now, I don't know if my advice is going to help anyone with the PC adapter that Sony just released, but for PSVR 2, um, and I got to thank my friend Buck, who's uh, been doing technology-related work for the longest time, for helping me out with some really good tips. Well, those tips got me over the hump, and I, well, I am done with playing around with all these little uh, Bluetooth connectors. Anyway, it got me working, so I wanted to share that with all of you. That's Buck3131, by the way, if you want to check the guy out. He's a solid lad. Right, so, PSVR 2. Um, this was no problem. Connected this into the virtual link cable, a little white light went on, and then of course in the headset it told you to take the headset off and go to your new PlayStation VR app. That part was fine. The part that wasn't fine was the Bluetooth connection uh, for the two sense controllers. And so this part drove me kind of nuts for a little while. And so I had Bluetooth 4, uh, Bluetooth 5, and several other kind of USB dongles. Now, the one that I ended up using that worked was actually the recommended TP-Link U500. Now, it didn't work just out of the box, so to speak. I had it already for the tack suit, um, this big whacking tactile suit for haptic feedback. And what I had to do, thanks to Buck, was go and update the Bluetooth drivers to support Bluetooth 5.3. So first things first, download, go to your vendor, whoever you bought the Bluetooth dongle from, go to the support page and get the latest driver and install that, right? You also need the PlayStation VR app on Steam to do that. And then the other thing that you might want to do is like I did with my PC, I had a wireless keyboard and a wireless mouse using those unifying adapters from Logitech. So if you have those in place, um, just while you're debugging stuff, try to get those out and use cabled uh, cabled devices. The other thing you want to know is because these little antennae are not very powerful and they're meant to be in a small form factor, you won't want them sitting at the back of your PC. Have them pointed in the direction where you're going to be playing your play space so that these things can actually connect easily. So that's just a couple of tips. I hope that helps somebody else. Um, but for me, it was made the difference between arguing with these and having the um, having the app just kind of say, hey, connect via Bluetooth. And I'm like, I could see them paired. I tried to unpair them. It wouldn't let me unpair them. I tried repairing them. And then eventually I got them to a connected status and via Bluetooth. But still, it wasn't behaving until I downloaded the latest software. So download your Bluetooth drivers, latest software. I didn't think about it, and I probably would have been pulling my hair out seeing as I didn't order a little bit earlier. Just to prove to you that it's working. Uh, see, this is the part where it's like, connect your controllers, please. Go ahead and press the connected pieces. And then we should see that prompt uh, just changed in just a, just a second. Let's see, did I get them both? Possibly, or maybe it's gone to sleep. I don't know. We'll leave it for a second anyway. It was working a moment ago. Um, you're gonna have to take my word for it. <laughs> it's gone to sleep now. <laughs> Always the case when you're recording a video. Anyway, hope those tips help you, um, and leave your own comments down below. Thanks. Zim out. Cheers, Buck.